Hello everybody. Uh, as you can see, I have made my set back into Nations League mode. I have not prepared much yet, but I'm planning to at least go through the four groups of League C. Some were soonish. Uh, I'm honestly not sure if I will be able to make it um, on a daily basis uh, through the upcoming week, but I think by the weekend you should see a few videos. Also, uh, since I did this alone, my daughters are busy with other things, I actually cannot give you a switching video. However, I found something else interesting. A book with 1000 soccer shirts. I bought this, I think, three years ago. Uh, it was on sale, uh, mainly because it was already a little bit outdated, but it's really, really interesting. Uh, they start off with showing... Let me, what's a good one to start off? Yeah, since we are Nations League, for instance, double page, some shirts of Italy right here with a little bit story. I mean, it's the books in German, but I'm sure it's all available in French and English as well. So this is the Italy page. Then what else can I show you? Uh, one more recent. This is Spain, like the Spain 2012 shirt. Um, so they have that. I mean, they have all teams that have some international titles. For instance, England here. A little bit of background information. Um, or uh, one particularly little bit crazy page is the Japan page. Uh, there are quite some shirts that I would like to have. <laughs> Especially this one here. That looks crazy, but I think I would go probably for this one at the 98 World Cup. That one looked uh, crazy. Of course, everyone wants to have this, the Dutch page. That's the shirt that everyone would like to have. Yep. Uh, what else do we have? Of course, here this is the page that made me happy. The first club team they have is Milan, because they have the most international titles, at least ahead at this point in their career. Um, and interestingly enough, I sort of have this one, not quite. And I have this one, so, yep, I have the next one with Adidas. So yeah, not, not the Kappa one. But yeah, it's very nice book to walkthrough I definitely can recommend uh, do we have some yeah the one thing I don't like is that for Manchester United they show them rather blank they have the sponsor here but this is the Nike version it's a blank shirt and they don't give any rhyme or reason behind it this should be the 2008 Champions League winning shirt but then there's also ah yeah France Paris Saint-Germain uh, that's one I'm looking at a little bit but then they also have like those pages with crazy shirts or uh, you know here the most expensive shirt deals and the um, most paid players so you see some shirts here of course I hated that PSG jersey that we had um, and some crazy shirts. They do put some goalkeeper kits in there that I actually am not so fond of because I think goalkeeper kits can be a little bit crazy. But here are some really crazy designs in there. That's, I think, the Chelsea shirt that I was referencing in the Europa League video the other day. Um, yes, here. Oh, I think I want to show the crazy kits. Uh, I don't. This too is a classic 90s design, the Barcelona kit, but that Mexico, that's one I would like to have too. The Jamaica one is also an absolute classic. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, yeah, that one, and of course, Athletic Bilbao, the centenary kit that no one ever understood. So, yeah, <laughs> they are really, uh, really crazy shirts in there. And then yeah, they go a little bit around the world. Let me, uh, let's go a little bit more exotic. Yeah. Hmm, what do we have? I'm just looking a little bit around. What I don't like is I don't really have a good Austria section in there. Austria is just mentioned close by, but for instance here, um, 
Croatia and Sweden together. Yeah, and you have the national team shirts and then just a few club shirts. So it's sometimes a little bit lacking. But then, you know, you have a double page for Swedish soccer. You don't have the same thing for Austria. Uh, they have, I think, a double page for other leagues as well. But, but it, it, there is no rhyme or reason. Finland. Finland. So I don't get it. But uh, what I liked is... Can I find it? Yeah. Like rest of Europe is all national teams. Here's Austria. That's the only Austrian entry. So yeah, you make yourself a picture. So it's not perfect. I like the Chile and Ecuador pages, you know. You can learn a little bit from it, but uh, it's of course by far not perfect uh, of what's in there. But it's a really nice uh, a book over here are national team shorts from uh, Latin America. Belize, not Belize. That one is the one I really like. Um, I also wish that Costa Rica would go full time with that look. I think that's a that's their best jersey, in my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> Ivory Coast. In case you haven't, Ivory Coast is not necessarily what you where you know a lot of stuff from. Do we have Ghana in there? Morocco, Algeria, South Africa. Mm -hmm. Let's go a little bit stranger. And of course, let's rest of Africa. I think I want to see if they have oaks in there. Yeah, but this is again African national team jerseys. This here by the Democratic Republic of Congo is one of my absolute favorites. Uh, just like the flag. I wish they would wear more like that. Well, really nice book. I might pull it out a few more times to show it. I just wanted to show you that I found this one and it fits so well. When I saw it, I had to get it. Well, as I said, I'm going to try to work on my Europa League jersey review for league c i think i want to save league d for the next international break and yeah uh, maybe in the meantime i have some milan shirts left over that we can look at um and maybe some national team shirts that i have not had here i don't think we've looked at this one or this one or of course this one yeah there are a few this one back there as well a few leftovers stay tuned um, be patient with me, I might not spill them out as regularly as I did in the past weeks, but we'll get there. Up until then, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these, and yes, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!